Hey, so I am at 132 right now. It's crazy to think just this weekend I was 145. And when you find your passion, it ignites you as a person. You just feel awesome. When I went to bed, I was like 136. So that water loading works. Today is Thursday. WANs are today at 5 p.m. I am finishing packing my bag. I'm actually going to take a little jog over to CVS um, to get a lock. That way I can put this puppy <laughs> in a locker without being paranoid. I'm bringing some towels, so I'm gonna bring a sweat towel, something that I can sit down on, and then I'm going to be bringing a towel for like cleanliness, so like post shower after I get out of the sauna. All right, so this is going to be my sauna outfit. I'm going to be wearing some insulated spandex. I'm going to be wearing a tribute to my first gym. Little good luck. Ah, uh, I feel the love already. And then we are going to wear the most non-breathable shirt in the world. I'll be right back. PRB. Oh, here it is. I'll tell you guys a really funny story about this shirt when we get in the sauna. I put on a lot of layers to just take a light jog over to CVS. That way we can start sweating early and then we can just go straight from here to the um, YMCA after. I like to look like I mean business. I will see you when we are headed to the sauna. Creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating. Hey, what is going on? We are in the sauna right now. I have the headlamp so we can have some lighting in here. Um, so I'm in the sauna right now. We're cutting weight. We're about um, four pounds. I just need to cut probably like four pounds. I only had just a tiny bit of coffee that was super concentrated. I'm talking like five scoops of beans to maybe three fourths cup of water. <laughs> super concentrated. Um, I went pee this morning and I lost like 0.3 pounds, which is pretty impressive. Hey, so I am at 132 right now. Um, decided to do like the whole shower, sauna shower thing. Um, so doing 10 minutes in, 10 minutes out, uh, I'm at 132 and I'm going to stay in here for 10 minutes and I'll let you know what my weight has decreased by in 10 minutes. We'll do a weigh-in. So 132 and we'll see what, we, what I weigh in 10 minutes. We are at 131, we're in the one pound stretch. I'm just gonna go to uh, 129.7, just in case. One thing I wish I would have brought that I didn't is a toothbrush and toothpaste because when you're dehydrated, your mouth is with the really strong coffee that I was sipping. It's kind of hot, it's hot. That was. Was that a pound in 10 minutes? I don't even know. It'd be interesting to take an IQ test right now. How you doing? Let's get weird. So it's been three minutes and 30 seconds, according to my phone. We have seven minutes. Seven minutes. I can't believe I lost this much weight in this much time. I didn't think it was going to happen. I am, this is amazing. This is my first like legit weight cut. It's crazy to think just this weekend I was 145. 145 after way too much sodium and hot sauce and completely carved up and completely watered up. It's just funny the whole concept of quote unquote losing weight, especially with women. It's like, I remember the days where I used to look at the scale and think that was like the all. Like forget body composition. And then I was like, all right, let's do a competition where I can get like <laughs> judged on having like the best physique. 
And then I'm like, all right, that was cool. How about we do a competition where we're like judged on our ability? So here we are now. And it's funny, the mindset, like I went from a like bo booty building mindset, trying to like build muscle um, to, all right, let's see how fast we can regenerate. So going from like a pro diet to like, all right, let's see how we can scientifically get things regenerated so I can train hard. You know, it's like train hard, regenerate hard type of deal. I'll see how long we can talk before the phone overheats. It's funny, you can hear your heart start beating faster when the 10 minute finish line approaches. That's why you shouldn't, you know, you can go for longer, but if you feel your heart rate is starting to go out of control, that's definitely when you should probably call it quits. For like, take a break for like 10, 10 minutes. What's up? We're in our last stretch and uh, I decided to garbage bag it up. You know, you're cutting and you just don't care what other people think anymore when you start pulling out the trash bags and making your little trash bag dress <laughs> with other people in the sauna. Medical tape. Black medical tape though, because you know, we wanna we wanna match the garbage bag. This session I only lost 0.4 pounds. Um, so I'm 130.6 right now, and of course you have to be 130. I mean, if I could do 129.8, that would be good just in case, like, if my scale's off or what have you. So I figured for the final push, I would do the... What side are you on right now? Are you here? Are you... You're here. All right, let me just... Eye contact! Um, so basically, yeah, final push. Decided to make a little garbage bag dress because I'm about ready to be done. So we're, we're expediting the process. It's been... It's been a good process. I mean, I've been here since, what was it, like 10.30 or 11? Let me put you down here. Yeah, it's been a pretty good process. I've been here since like 10.30 or 11. It is 10 of 2 right now. Um, so yeah, wanted to make it a like relaxing process of like sweat, shower, sweat, shower. I didn't want to feel like being in a rush or feeling stressed, I felt like just kind of chilling, you know what I mean? Like, it's a process, you just gotta like be patient. So we are in our final sweats. Let's hope these come off quickly. As I'm like, you gotta enjoy the process. And I'm like, you know what? I've enjoyed the process. I think I'm over it. I wanna go brush my teeth. But it'll be good timing because I'll get to go home um, you know, get ready for weigh-ins. I'll take you with me for weigh-ins. Uh, pack my bag and food and water for post weigh-ins. That way we can just friggin' kill it in the car. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so glorious. I cannot wait. Um, yeah, and just focus on eating good food and sleeping well because I did not sleep at all last night. At all. I think tonight is gonna be a good night for sleep. I should probably get some sunshine too, that way my circadian rhythm will be a-okay. called before coming because I just wanted to double check to make sure that the sauna wasn't broken because I, there have been a few times where it's like you go to a place with a sauna and it's broken. I didn't want to waste time. You know, that's like an extra 30 minutes of time wasted if you have to like go to some place, find out they have a broken sauna, drive to someplace else. So I'm going to be out of here probably by 2.30, home by 3, get ready, out the door at 3.45, 4 p.m. to beat rush hour traffic to get to Manchester, New Hampshire um, from like the Boston area. And there's typically a shit ton of traffic. The earlier we leave, the better. Boo. So funny, I was sitting in here, you know, the final stages of finishing the weight cut and this lady came in and she sat down right here as I was up there and she like takes a heavy sigh 
and she has this nice cold water like like you can tell it was room temperature and then it gets in here and then the condensation and it was like one of those where with a little sippy spout where you go like this and you hear it go glug 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 I was like oh my god that looks so good right now I'm like I have four minutes left to look at this and then she had music playing too and she had this like thick deep sigh like like she just was like under some stress and I'm like it's so funny how like you can literally have everything that somebody else doesn't have you can have like cold water you can have like you know music and a nice warm sauna and if your mind isn't right it can still be torture like you can be in the most beautiful place in the world and if your mind isn't in the right place it can be torture it's so funny how like your mind where it is like what place it is in like determines how you feel yesterday i was getting adrenaline dumps because i was imagining being in the cage and i was really there and i could just feel my heart start pounding and like i was just getting so amped up and that's like not what i want to avoid is that adrenaline dump when you just feel tired because of all that adrenaline dumping so i've been trying to visualize but like when i was visualizing i was getting in such an amped up state i could i could feel the adrenaline so today during my run i was trying to be like in a calm loving state like i imagined like kneeling before getting into the ring like and just being thankful being thankful for every training partner for every coach for everybody who ever gave a shit for everybody who ever rooted me on for everybody who ever spent their time watching these videos for for all for everybody like i just wanted to say thank you and i just wanted to feel gratitude and love like love for my opponent you know what i mean like because without her i i wouldn't be getting this opportunity you know what i mean that's like the beauty of it like just love for the game love for the challenge like love just love man i just wanted to enter it with love and gratitude and tell myself that you know it's like you have a dream and a part of you doesn't think it's going to happen a part of you like holds like for a year I, I mean for like six months i remember like not training as much as i should and i'm like why am i holding myself back like i should be at the gym right now and i was like oh well you lifted today how about you just chill out it's like sometimes when you have a dream sometimes you can hold yourself back and i'm just really thankful i just wanted to let you know that like with hard work anything is possible and you're it sounds so cheesy but like that's what life is all about it's just like envisioning something and realizing it and that's where the whole like realized life thing is all about it's like imagining something and like realizing it into existence and that's what's so cool about life it's so awesome never have i ever taken a shower with the trash bag before but i'm not making this dress again Good to go. Yes. We did it. We did it. <sighs> we did it. All in a day's work. Let's go home. All right, we are done. We're done. We're in a winter jacket and flip flops because that's how we roll. I just want some wind between my toes because they've been wet for a pretty long time. That's mega gangrene. <laughs> when we get to the weigh-ins, all right? Um, we're in the sauna now, just sweating it out. Instead of getting a sauna suit, I knew that one of my dress shirts was completely not breathable. Where are you anyway? There you are, all right. Was completely not breathable. Um, and let me tell you like a funny story about this. All right, so, I have this dress shirt, it's like super nice. I 
like it a lot. And it was summertime, it was last summer. It was about, I don't know, 95 degrees, 100 degrees. And I am about to visit Harvard, about to visit one of their top professors uh, that's doing like a bunch of research using, basically using one of their oscilloscopes. And I'm going in there trying to like upgrade as a oscilloscope. And I'm like, all right, so this is my first time on campus. This is my first time visiting, it's Harvard. I'm like a little bit awestruck because you know, it's Harvard. So I park my car in the parking garage. I'm nervous, I'm not late because I'm always like early to everything, 30 minutes early. So I'm like, all right, let's, let's find this place. Let's keep her cool, literally, and find this place. So I'm walking along, walking along, just following the Google Maps and I look up and I look around and it does not look like Ivy League territory at all. This does not, no, no, I'm like, I'm not in the right place. So I start looking at the numbers on the doors and I'm like, holy cow, Google sent me in the wrong direction. And I'm like, it's really hot. And this shirt, this shirt was so hot. I'm like, I, I, I could feel a puddle forming in the middle of my back. And I'm like, you know what? This is not a good look. Like a sweaty salesperson, not a good look. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I have two choices. I can either take off the shirt or show up there with a sweat stained shirt that probably won't dry off. Like pit stains, back stains, like a little happy face on my stomach. Like that's not cute, not cute. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm wearing a sports bra, like this is, whatever like now is not the time to care how you look now because you want to be able to look normal when you get there uh, so I was like screw it so I took off my shirt and I wrapped it I took off this shirt wrapped it around my dress pants and just started walking in my bra and I walked right onto Harvard campus just in my sports bra, uh, went into the first bathroom I saw, like stopped sweating. She basically gave myself like a bath in the sink and like toweled off. Mindless creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating. And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire